All right, so we're going to be talking about Lego set 70802, Bad Cop's Pursuit. It is $29.99 in the American Lego catalog, and it comes with Bad Cop, Emmett. It's 314 pieces, and it also comes with Good Cop face on Bad Cop. So it's not like two different Bad Cop faces. It's actually a Good Cop face and a Bad Cop face. Um, it's really cool because this comes with two alligators as well. Um, a little bridge section here, kind of railroad bridge section that goes over some water where you can put the alligators, and it's got a frog and stuff too. It's actually a really kind of a fun set. You get feel like you get quite a bit for it just because the uh, vehicle here that is Bad Cop's uh, flying vehicle actually feels built really well, in my opinion. Um, I always feel flying vehicles are a lot easier to build, I guess, than cars, just because cars, there's so many things you have to factor for, the, the wheel movement and all that jazz, whereas with just flying vehicles, you can kind of just make it however you want to make it look, and then it just kind of works, because it's like, ah, you could throw an engine on it, and it, it can fly as long as it's aerodynamic. Um, honestly, this vehicle and, like, this set in general has a lot of crazy zany pieces that you wouldn't normally get with most things. Right here, you're building some guns hidden inside the sides of this vehicle, so, um, Really, it's kind of a fun set just because the alligators and all the pieces that you get, the characters that you get. Bad Cop is kind of a very cool part in the whole scheme of things. So it's actually really fun. I love this set. It's one of my favorite sets. This is what the set looks like when you're done. So let's get on with the features. All right. So I'm going to be talking about the features for LEGO set 70802, Bad Cop's Pursuit. All right. So what we get in this set, just for kind of an overview, is you get two characters, two crocodiles, a little bridge kind of thing that Emmett gets to hang off of, and then uh, Bad Cop's little flying car. And then the movie that flying car changes into a, or changes from a driving car into a flying car. It doesn't do that in this set. Um, so first of all, let us talk about the crocodiles. So give me one second to focus it on the crocodile. Can I get it to focus? There we go. All right, so. Like every other Lego crocodile, the tail can move back and forth. It's already curved, so you can't really change that. And then the mouth can move up and down. And you get two of these, so it's really nice because this is a really good set for some pretty crazy pieces. As, whoops, just moved my camera right there. As uh, you get some pretty cool stuff with the characters and the vehicles itself. Uh, let's move on to what, or the vehicle, I guess, because there's only one vehicle. Let's move on to this thing that Emmett is hanging off here. We'll get to the characters last. All right, so not a feature, but what's really kind of cool is down here is this little frog. Um, so you actually get two alligators and a frog for creatures in this set. Um, what's really kind of a fun thing here is you see these, this pole here. They kind of made it look like there was a pole broken here um, with one of the poles kind of sticking up still. And then they made it look like a board fell. That's a broken board. All right, so the main feature for this set, I'm gonna move over to the side over here. So if my voice is a little bit different, it's because I moved. Um, you see this little red switch in the back, or red uh, kind of lever, you pull it, and you can actually make the, uh, the bridge collapse a little bit. And so then Emmett's also got a cylinder piece at the end here that he grabs onto. So that is what Emmett does there for that um, specific thing. Um, that's pretty much all this has. It actually has some seaweed here, though. Um, like a piece of seaweed to look like some vine that was hanging off of it. Kind of a cool thing there. The main feature is that it falls down like that, kind of so you can make it where Bad Cop blows it up. So, in light of saying that, where Bad Cop blows it up, this is Bad Cop's vehicle. I'm actually gonna try and focus. There we go. Um, this vehicle is, I actually like it. It's very different than the movie vehicle though. Well, not very different. The look of it is not very different, but there are some minor changes that they did to it. Um, this fin in the back folds. Usually I like the, di the, excuse me, the dynamic look, but for the set, it actually has it straight up. Um, the set, the cockpit is actually somewhat easy access. I mean, the, it folds up so you can kind of get into it. That's what it looks like from the side. It's actually got the connectors are um, like C connectors that have the rods that they connect to. Um, it's easy-ish to pull out Bad Cop. Um, and then he's got his little gun. I'll do a demonstration of that gun in a bit. Um, but anyways, you've got that. What's a very interesting feature that's not really a feature much is that this is on hinge pieces so it can slip back and forth. They gave it a grill on the front like a uh, kind of like a cop car would have on the front. 
kind of a cool thing there. Um, another thing that this thing can do is if you look on the bottom, there's these rods here. And what's really cool is if you flip up the side, you can bring out some guns. So it looks like that on the one side. Let's do it on the other side. And it's actually really fast to get them out. And then you can kind of adjust the doors however you want. And there you go, you have some bad cop guns. And what's actually really funny is they colored them police colors. So they're blue and red. Personally, bad cop is like tops on my favorite characters in the Lego movie. He's my favorite bad guy, I guess you could say. And then he's also um, kind of like tied with Benny, I think. Benny's my favorite good guy. But anyways, that is the bad cop car there. Um, let's get focused. Get everything on screen here so you can see this before we get going to the characters really quick. Um, let's move the crocodiles back a little bit so we can see those guys a little bit better maybe. There we go. All right, now let's start with Emmett because Emmett is one of the characters that's the most prominent. He's actually pretty much appears in every single Lego set. Can I get pretty good focus on him? All right. I feel like I'm making it blurry. There we go. If I move it back a little bit. All right. One thing I have not pointed out in any of the Lego sets that I've gotten Emmett in, he's actually got this unique hairpiece where he's got actually stick -em ups in the back. That's kind of a cool thing. This is his scared face. Scared. Scared face. And then this is his bound and determined face. Um, he's got that face pretty much with everything. I don't know if they have ever made a different Lego head for him, but um, this is the brick of resistance or piece of resistance. Excuse me. This is technically brick form because um, the piece of resistance is actually a like glue cap in the movie. If you've never seen the movie and you wanted to know something about it, all right, I'm going to set him down. Now, to my favorite character, Bad Cop. All right. Personally, I think I like Bad Cop, um, but I think who I like the most is I actually like Good Cop more. And this is him with his helmet. Hi, buddy. So there we go. He's actually got this really cool gun. Um, I think I'll do a kind of a separate demonstration of that. Um, I'll try and do it more on the level and kind of show you exactly how far it can go. Basically, you just press that little button down and then it, the, the stud goes flying. What's kind of cool is you put the stud in like so. So the little stud part goes into the gun. And they're actually doing this gun more and more lately. If you buy the set with um, Cyborg in it, he's got this gun. And then some of the sets for Ultra Agents have this gun. Personally, one of my favorite characters is Bad Cop. Um, I'm thinking about getting the other Bad Cop set that is out with his car. There we go. That is the set. You get two characters, two crocodiles, a frog, which is actually funny enough, the bridge, um, the bridge section here, and then Bad Cop's flying vehicle. So that is all I have for the features. What do you mean my coffee's not done? Oh, I can't believe it. Sorry about that, folks. Just been a long week for me. I really... Oh, click over here if you want to see the playlist. And click over here if you want to see the next video. Hey, my coffee's done. Now... I could have had something special. Creamer. Irish cream? Oh, heck yeah.